In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the equation of orthogonal trajectories using differential equations. The question reads, find the equation of the orthogonal trajectories to parabolas y to the power of 2 is equal to px. Now before we start this question, let's go through some theory. Remember that a curve that cuts through a family of circles at right angles is called an orthogonal trajectory to that family. Take for example the illustration that you see on your right. We have these ellipses that are one within another, and we have these parabolas that are in terms of x and are cutting through these ellipses at right angles. And to find the orthogonal trajectory to a family of curves, we follow these steps. So let's start with step one. They say we need to differentiate the equation of the family to get the slope. Let's find the derivative of this equation with respect to x. We have 2y dy over dx, that's the left side, is equal to the derivative of px, given that p is a constant, we can assume that it's any number, and the derivative of x is 1, leaving us with only p. Another way we can write this is to clear the denominator, the dx, by multiplying both sides by dx. So if I multiply this side by dx, we end up with dx on the right side. And if I divide both sides now by 2y, I end up with dy is equal to p dx over 2y. Moving on to step two, they ask us to eliminate the constant contained in the original equation. The constant p from the original equation is y to the power of two over x. And you can find that easily by dividing both sides here by x and you end up with p. Substituting y to the power of two over x for p, we end up with the following. So let me show you my steps. I have y to the power of 2 over x is equal to p. And I'll substitute this into here. This gives me dy is equal to y over 2x dx. And if you're confused by that, I'll show my work on the side. I have y squared over x dx over this part, 2y pretend that this 2y has a 1 underneath, so we flip this and we multiply. We have y squared dx over x times 1 over 2y. One of these y's cancels out with this one, leaving you with y dx over 2x as shown. In step number three, they say take the negative reciprocal of the slope to get the slope of the orthogonal trajectory. So if I divide both sides now by dx, I end up with dy over dx, y over 2x is my slope. I need to take the negative reciprocal for this because these slopes are perpendicular to the actual slope. So we take the negative reciprocal, flipping this, dy over dx is equal to negative 2x over y. And now we do just like how we always do, which is to solve the resulting differential equation. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll separate these terms where we have x's on one side, y's on the other side. I'll start by multiplying both sides by dx. Multiplying this by dx cancels that out. And multiplying both sides by y gives me dy times y is equal to negative 2x dx. Integrating the left side and the right side, these are easy. We end up with y to the power of 2 over 2 on the left side. And on the right side we end up with negative 2 x to the power of 2 over 2 plus c. This cancels out, leaving me with negative x squared plus c, bringing that over, and we end up with y to the power of 2 over 2 plus x squared is equal to c. And the equation that you see right here represents the family of ellipses. And there you have it. That is how to find the equation of orthogonal trajectories using differential equations.